Not bad. Well, here we are together again at last by popular demand. How are you? I'm Good to a little see. tired. What have you done to kill time since you were on my old show? I've been working. You really have? Yeah. We did Europe. We went to Europe. Yeah. And played over there about a month. Scared him to death, I think. <laughs> did you have fun? Did... No, I had a terrible time. Did you really? You yeah, hate... but he really gets loose and nobody rocks over there. They're all so cerebral. They're really cerebral. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. I, they sit analyzing the meaning of your work and not appreciating it. They don't get down. They over-intellectualize. They cerebrate. They ratiocinate excessively. <laughs> That's what right the limeys do. <laughs> It wasn't just England, it was all over. No, uh, England, Amsterdam, Paris, Stockholm, uh, Copenhagen. May I light your fire, my child? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite singer, as you know. I guess not. Apparently not, no. <laughs> well, I would have bet against it myself. Anyway, it's good to see you. Hey, why is it? I was thinking about it the other day. There aren't very many of you. By this, I mean... No, no, I mean... Superstar rock ladies like yourself. Uh, who else? There's, there's Mama Cass, maybe, and uh, Gracie Slick. She's giggling, isn't she? Why aren't there more ladies who do what you do? Singing? No, do what, what the kind you do. I know a lot of ladies sing. I mean, but you're not in the same category with Kate Smith or <laughs> maybe Joe Stafford, but not, not Kate Smith. I don't know why. I always wondered because it seems so natural to me, but. Um... I don't know, it's not feminine, maybe, that's why. I mean, to get out and really get into music, get on the bottom side of the music, instead of float around on the top like most sing chick singers do. I think they, ooh, 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 on the top of the melody, instead of yeah. get into the feeling of the music. I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good enough answer for me. Do you read much? Yeah, on a plane. <laughs> do you ever sit home quietly by the fire, rereading Dickens or... <laughs> my style, really. No, I'm, I often wonder what, what you do on an off, off night. Maybe you don't have any. You, they keep you working so much. We work. We work a lot, yeah. Would you say you hate the road? It has a lot of bad things about it. I mean, you're alone a lot, and you're in strange cities a lot, but then you get to play a lot. And uh, I think ultimately that's what people in music are after. That's just one of the dues you have to, to pay to play mm -hmm. music. I mean, you can't stay in your hometown and play. Because, you know, the two people get tired of seeing you. Yeah. I'm always <laughs> going to wonder what it, what it feels like to do what you do up there. I have a feeling... I, I saw you at Fillmore and a couple other places, seen. and it's really an ecstatic effect that you have. And uh, there's no way um, my doing those little monologues isn't quite the same thing. <laughs> I often wonder if... What... That's because you're on top of it instead of on the bottom. I'm on the wrong side of it? Well, I didn't say that. Oh. What does it mean I'm on the top of it? Well, I just thought... I was talking about the singing. Yeah. It's just like an attitude, I think, that you can approach well, anything with. I, well, I never thought of it until five minutes ago. Well. <laughs> but, you know, it's on the getting on the, underneath, on the, the movement, the, the rhythm of, of whatever you're into instead of just skirting it and looking at it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. Do you ever have a whole night, though, when that doesn't happen and you just stand up there and feel like you're not making it? Well, yeah, but you kind of try and you have little games that you play with yourself to turn yourself on, mm -hmm. you know? And then, you know, I've got this band that I can, like, listen to the horns. Yeah. And if they're pushing, the horn players will turn me on. And you can usually get yourself going. You never had a desire to just leave the stage and say, I'm sorry it isn't working tonight, folks. It's the best thing ever happened to me. I wouldn't yeah. leave. <laughs> yeah. If you, had, if you couldn't do it anymore, you'd be miserable, huh? Yeah. yeah. I hope that by that time I'll have something else that's as groovy. Yeah. You can know? you picture that? Can you picture yourself suddenly... Taking a complete turn in your life, and yeah, I don't mean. Learn how to bake organic bread and have babies. And... Really? <laughs> Possibly the convent. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, you know what groupies are? The question is, do I know what groupies are? <laughs> there, there are uh, there are these girls who f sort of follow the rock groups around, yeah, and, that's and about it. they um, anticipate uh, brief encounters with the gentlemen in the <laughs> groups, and and. Uh, Romances, not too detailed, I suppose. But I wondered if uh, you few lady rock stars that there are, are there? Not near enough. No, no. <laughs> there are no male groupies. Not near enough, no. Oh, no, oh, not near <laughs> Can, somebody said about you and a couple other 
stars like yourself. That oh, did you on. hate that Don't, word? Yes, it just drives me up the wall. Please. Really? Well, no, our walls are very flimsy, so please don't go up there. That's true. It's I'd rather they call me a singer. Okay, you are a singer. Here. The thing was, the point was that you couldn't make uh, several hundred thousand dollars a year and still sing the blues. Do you remember that? I don't remember. Maybe it was the Newsweek article or something. Maybe it was. In fact, I mean, it might have been one of your. How much money that cat said it's making now? No. <laughs> well, quite a bit. <laughs> oh, but I mean, is is this necessarily a contradiction that you could be terribly successful and be making all that money and still not be miserable? Uh, I assume that was his implication. I assume. Well, I don't know what he was trying to say, but uh, music is just. Hey, when you get up there and you're playing, it doesn't have anything to do with money. I mean, or it really shouldn't. I mean, once you get on the stage, like all the money, you know, all that can go down with you know at managers and stuff like that. But once you get playing, hey, it's a, it's a playing's just about feeling. Playing isn't necessarily about misery. Mm -hmm. Playing isn't necessarily about happiness. But it's just about letting yourself feel all those things that you have already on the inside of you, but you're all the time trying to push them aside because they aren't, don't make for polite conversation or something. But if you just get up there, and that's what, that's the only reason I can sing is because I just close my eyes and let all those things that are inside just yeah. come out. It doesn't have anything to do with money. What else really gives you pleasure? Do you snorkel? <laughs> <laughs> do you snorkel? No. That's the best thing I've ever done. Not being able to get up and sing. I, I snorkel. <laughs> Could I teach you to snorkel sometime? Later. Later. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it here. No one <laughs> snorkels publicly that I know of. Would you say that I have soul? I'm sure you do. Do you really? I'm sure everybody does. Who did I ask this of the other night? Whom? Oh, Dionne Warwick. Or Warwick. We decided that I had as much soul as that little finky guy in the pointed hat who sings Chew your little troubles away I'm not <laughs> we'll get him with an aerosol can one of these days I believe we have to pause we'll, we'll be back after this